Well, kids across the area are showing off their artistic skills. This is the fourth year for the contest, sponsored by the Bessie Smith Cultural Center, and it keeps getting bigger and better every year. News tells David Moore as another example of what's right with our schools. First place, Annalise Gregory. This is the fourth annual Bessie Smith Art Contest, open to all Hamilton County students K through 12. Um, we are so excited to see the students here tonight that did the artwork as we exhibit it and announce our first, second, and third place winners. I took um, her being a colored woman and turned it into all sorts of different colors, and I incorporated her um, being a blues artist into the feathers. Each year it gets bigger and bigger, more kids, different students from different schools get involved, so K through 12 can participate, and we've got kindergarten all the way up there. We didn't have any seniors this year, but we do have quite a few 11th graders, and it's just some very talented children and youth in our city. I didn't really know about her until when I started drawing and like learning all these new things about her. I really liked how she really put herself out there with her work and her music. It, you know, it gives me hope for the future because art kind of leads into other important endeavors. The overthrow room was packed and there were a few hundred people standing outside in the rain when I went out to address them. These kids' artwork were seen by about a thousand people yesterday alone, so um, it's a great thing for them to come in tonight, though, with their parents and grandparents and teachers, and to see their artwork up in an actual cultural center, and it's on the walls, and it will be up through the end of February for them to come back and bring their family and friends. Great job, kids. Hey, if you have an idea for a story, go to our website. It's WDEF.com. You can look for the icon that says What's Right With Our Schools, and you'll find a link to post your story idea.